Hello everyone. How are you? Welcome to our fisheries board exam review. We make videos to help fisheries graduates increase their chances of passing the licensure examination for fisheries professionals. If you are already a licensed fisheries professional, the videos we made may review the lectures you learned during your undergraduate years. In every episode, we answer and explain 20 questions from the major fields of fisheries. In this episode, our review questions are from Capture Fisheries. But before we continue, if you are new to this channel, we make videos related to fishery matters, including review questions, lectures, trivias, and some basic fishery skills. So, if you like these kinds of contents, please subscribe in our YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell so that you will receive new updates. Without further ado, let's start. Which of the following instruments are used in net making and mending? 1. Sequin 2. Mesh gauge 3. Pamo or twine 4. Kurunin The options are A. All, except 1 B. All, except 2 C. All, except 3 and D. All, except 4 The correct answer is D. Wall, except for Sequin, mesh gauge, and pamo or twine are the usual instruments needed in making and mending nets. Fishing vessels with 15 GT capacity is classified as A. Municipal fishing vessel, B. Small scale commercial fishing vessel, C medium-scale commercial fishing vessel d large-scale commercial fishing vessel the correct answer is b small-scale commercial fishing vessel Small-scale commercial fishing vessels are fishing vessels with tonnage capacity for 3.1 to 20 gross tonnage. Municipal fishing vessels have tonnage capacity of less than 3 GT. Medium-scale commercial fishing vessel have tonnage capacity of 20.1 to 150 GT. And large-scale commercial fishing vessel have tonnage capacity of more than 150.1 GT. Assume that there are 9 knots, when stretched in a 6 inches net. Calculate for the mesh size. A. 4.34 cm B. 9.67 cm C. 3.81 cm D. 4.80 cm The correct answer is C. 3.81 cm So, how did we solve it? The formula we used is The mesh size in cm is equal to 30.48 divided by k-1 Where k is the number of knots That is equal to 30.48 divided 9-1 Which is 8 So, the mesh size is 3.81 cm Which of the following gears are prohibited in municipal waters? 1. PAM unit 2. Pulling 3. Holbit Holbit 4. Pangle The options are A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 4 only C. 2 and 3 only D. 2 and 4 only.
And the correct answer is C. 2 and 3 only. Both the Pa Ling and Holbert Holbert are active gears and prohibited gears. On the other hand, Pam Unit and Pangle are passive gears and can be used in municipal waters. Active gears are not allowed in municipal waters, but there are some exemptions. The exemptions include 1. Gill nets, other than bottom set gill bed, which not more 500 meters per boat. 2. Sud sud or push net to catch small fishes. 3. Purse same, or pangil long, ring net, or tixe, and other gears that do not touch the sea bottom, provided that they have satisfied the following conditions are section 18 of the Republic Act No. 10654. Use small and medium commercial fishing vessel in fishing. Fishing operation can 10.1 to 15 kilometers only. And it is authorized by LGU, with prior consultation to farm seas. Which of the following, is not a major fish species caught in commercial fisheries? A. Frigate tuna B. Grouper C. Anchovies and D. Skipjack tuna The correct answer is B. Grouper Frigate tuna Anchovies and skipjack tuna are some of the major fish species produced by commercial fisheries, but not groupers. Which of the following is not a major export fisheries commodity of the Philippines? A. Seaweeds B. Sardines C. Tuna and D. Crab meat The correct answer is B. Sardines The top major fishery export of the Philippines, both by volume and value, are the tunas. It is followed by seaweeds, crabs, crab fats and crab meat, octopus, and shrimp or prawn round up the top five fishery export commodities. The other commodities are groupers, squid and cuttlefish, live ornamental fish, sea cucumbers, and round scads. What do you call the line, connecting the hooks to the main line and a long line? A. Float line B. Reaving line C. Branch line and D. Sinker line The correct answer is C. Branch Line The repair of damaged nettings by sewing or patching is called A. Splicing B. Mending C. Salvaging and D. Creasing The correct answer is B. Mending Splicing is a way of terminating a rope or joining two ends of rope together without using a knot. Baiting is a process in reducing the number of meshes by taking two meshes while weaving instead of one. Creasing is the opposite of baiting wherein the number of meshes are increased by adding half meshes either in one side, both sides, or inside the net. It is locally known as Dixie or Pangulong. What is it? A. Beach Seine B. Skimming Net C. Bag Net and D. Ring Net
The correct answer is D. Ringnet. Beach Seine is locally known as Sensoro. The local name for skimming net is Sandok. Bagnet is locally known as Baznig in most parts of the Philippines. Which of the following gears are allowed to operate in Philippine waters? 1. Crablift net. 2. Squid pot. 3. Ring net. 4. Danish Seine. The options are A. All gears, except 1. B. All gears, except 2. C. All gears, except 3. And D. All gears, except 4. The correct answer is D. All gears, except 4. This synthetic fiber is commercially known as nylon. What is this? A. Polyvinyl chloride. B. Polyamide. C. Polyvinylidene chloride. D. Polyethylene. And the correct answer is B. Polyamide. Polyvinyl chloride is commercially known as PVC, Taviron, and Invillin. Polyvinylidene chloride is known as Saran, Kerhalin, and Vinyan in the market. And polyethylene is more known as P. Cooling or Esex. It is the basic unit of netting, which is technically composed of two bars and a knot. A. Mesh. B. Strand. C. Yarn. D. Fiber. The correct answer is A. Mesh. A strand. Is composed of yarns that are twisted together. A yarn is composed of fibers that are twisted together. And the fiber is the smallest unit twine or rope. Which of the following is not a shape or design of a boat? A. Spoon. B. Rake stem, rake stern. C. Bollard. And D. Plum. The correct answer is C. Bollard. The spoon, rake stem, rake stern, and plum are shapes or designs of a boat. The bollard is a short, Thick post on the deck of a ship or on a wharf, to which a ship's rope may be secured. Which of the following is an example of large pelagic fish? A. Fusiliers. B. Sardines. C. Yellowfin tuna. And D. Rounds cads. The correct answer is C. Yellowfin tuna. Large pelagic fishes are consists of tunas and tuna like species. They comprised a special group of highly migratory fishes, capable of attaining large size, which is more than 500 grams, and spends their entire life in marine waters. On the other hand, small pelagic fishes are found are living in the water surface or at the water column. They are usually found in the continental shelf waters, not exceeding 200 meters depth. They attain maximum weights not exceeding 500 grams each, 
and known to grow faster, but short-lived. Fusiliers, sardines, and round scads are some examples of the small pelagic fishes. Bintal is one of the fishing gears used in catching crabs. It is commonly known as a bottom set gill net, b fish pot, c cast net, and d crab lift net. The correct answer is D. Crab lift net. The bottom set gill net is locally known as Pantang Paliambag or Lombot. Fish pot is locally known as Bubo or Bubong Pangasda. And cast net is known as Leia. If the net have seven knots when stretched in a six inches ruler, what is the mesh size of the net? A. 2.00 inches B 3.56 inches C 4.39 inches and D 5.08 inches The correct answer is A 2.00 inches. How did we solve it? The formula used was the mesh size is equal to 12 minus k minus 1, wherein the k is the number of knots. 12 divided 7 minus 1, which is equal to 6, is 2 inches. Which instrument or device and its accessories are utilized in taking fish and other fishery resources? A. Fishing paraphernalia B. Fishing gear C. Fishing methods D. Fishing accessories The correct answer is B. Fishing gear Fishing method, is the manner or technique of fishing gear and its accessories is used. Fishing accessories, are tools or device that help the fishing gear in capturing the target species. How many feet are there in one fathom? A. 5 feet B. 6 feet C. 7 feet and D. 8 feet The correct answer is B. There are 6 feet in 1 fathom. Fathom is a unit of length equal to 6 feet or approximately 1.8 meters. It is mainly used in reference to the depth of water. Moroami is one of the fishing gears that was banned in 1980s because of its destructive effect in coral reefs. What gear replaced Moroami, which is also destructive in coral reefs? A. Kitong. B. Current A. C. Pulling. And D. Pangilong. The correct answer is C. Pulling. Pulling is fishing gear consisting of a net set at coral or shoal reef areas, whereby fish are driven towards the net by means of air bubbles produced by compressors. Which of the following is a passive gear? 1. Handline 2. Fish corral 3. Trawl and 4. Purse seine The options are a. 1 and 2 only. B. 
1 and 3 only. C. 2 and 4 only. Or D. 3 and 4 only. And the correct answer is A. 1 and 2 only. Both handline and fish corral are examples of passive gears. Trawls and purse seines are examples of active gears. That's all for today's review episode. I hope that you learned something from us today. If you have any question or clarification, do not hesitate to contact us or type it in the comment section. We will be happy to answer your questions, as soon as we could. We also suggest, that you read anything that is related to fisheries matters. Keep safe always, everyone.